first you need to put the gloves on. Jesus, what is this? The Bigfoot or what? <laughs> Some people like to use these things, right? But the problem with this, it heats up the coral. So you want to avoid using that. <clears throat> this is the a Galaxia coral. Let me get a this one's going to be a little bit tougher. This one looks like it encrusted on an old uh, branch from a dead coral. A lot of times you can just... Usually when you frag, you want to have it down in something with the towels around or whatever because the pieces can go flying. It depends sometimes. A lot of times you can just find points where to cut it. What I want to do is kind of get it just feel it, feel it out, see how hard it's going to be with a place that won't affect the coral. I can already see it's going to be pretty soft. So we want six pieces out of this. Uh, this we're going to do six. I'm going to tap it and see what shakes off. Here's my uh, yellow uh, studio. You just look for spots in between. You think it'd be a good place to split. Can you see that there? Yeah, move your hand just a little. There you go. All right, you know, if it, it kind of sticks a little bit right away, just pull it back out and start from another spot. There you go. Now that split into one nice little piece like that. So, and then you can kind of look sometimes and see lines, you know, you kind of tap along the line. And it, well, a lot of times it'll just break a lot along that line. See how it did that? <clears throat> so you just keep trying to find like a straight line to it. Uh, You see how the lines kind of go that way? You don't want to try to go like this. You can see that the coil kind of grew. So you want to you want to keep trying to go on a on a side like this. Oh, well, we got five frags out of it already. And this one will probably go here. All right, there we go. You can see they're all nice little. Some are a little bit bigger than the others. Someone's going to get a bigger one. Someone will get two, these two little ones. What type of lighting and uh, flow requirements does a, a Galaxia rather? Well, a Galaxia will survive in low light conditions, but it'll turn brown. Keep it nice, vivid green, uh, metal halide, or T5 recommended. Uh, but it will li live in uh, lower light conditions. The higher the flow, the longer the sweeper tentacles will get can get. So you want to keep it low flow area. Any other special requirements that you can think of? Uh, not really. Very hardy coal. From the hardiest that usually come in the trade. Uh, a lot of people won't keep it because it needs a lot of room. So a special requirement would be to have space around it or at least corals that can handle a sting of it like a hydnophora or maybe other uh, hammer and frog spawn some of those things can handle the, the sting bit better than others <coughs> all right so here you go who wants them the mad dad go pick the them out <laughs> that was easy right sure yeah the key with the galaxy though remember see how i showed you how the polyps were lying mm -hmm. so you just run your your chisel or your and run it along those lines like that and it'll break apart the time